Hey Weight Wanters and welcome back to our channel. Today we are here to talk to you guys about the Weight Wanters mindset. How to master your mindset so your weight gain journey becomes as easy as possible. Because a lot of you are struggling on your weight gain journey simply because your mindset is in the right place. But we're here to change your mindset and change your life. As always, no long intro, let's get straight into it. So our first tip for you ladies is to look at the bigger picture and set your benchmark. So a lot of us are too hard on ourselves when we have a little slip up or a bad day where maybe we skip a meal or we didn't go to the gym and we actually get into a cycle of making ourselves feel bad which then affects our anxiety and our appetite which then of course makes us not eat for longer and then it just becomes a cycle of you really kind of being your own worst enemy and ending up losing more weight and trust me I have been there many 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 times in the past so what I first want you ladies to change about your mindset is how you look at your weight gain journey look at it in the bigger picture especially when it comes to singular days that maybe didn't go so well so if you know that every day you are doing what you need to do on your weight gain journey but maybe out of the month you had one day a week where things just didn't go so well that's only four days out of the whole month which is really not going to have that much of a drastic effect on your weight gain journey as opposed to you just completely being inconsistent relying on vibes and just doing things whenever you feel like it because that means you're probably only going to be consistent maybe three days out of the week which then dramatically brings down the amount you've been consistent out of the whole month again looking at that bigger picture and what I mean by setting your benchmark is just because you've had a bad day it doesn't necessarily mean it's been that bad that you've really been in a big calorie deficit so set your benchmark of even when you're having a bad day try and hit that benchmark which means that you're going to at least be hitting which means that you're gonna at least be hitting maintenance calories, which means that you're still gonna be eating enough to maintain your weight. Maybe you're not gonna be in a surplus or you're not gonna be gaining on that bad day, but at least you're not going to be in a calorie deficit. So even if it feels like a bad day, you've still done enough where you're gonna maintain and you're not going to lose. That benchmark roughly is gonna be around 2000 calories because that is the recommended amount of calories, I believe off the top of my head, for women to maintain their weight. So two 2,000 calories is what you want to aim for if you're still having a bad day and that's very achievable if you just have two meals and a really high calorie smoothie as well. So just to recap, the first mindset change that you want to do is start to look at the bigger picture when it comes to your weight gain journey, your consistency and your efforts and set your benchmark of the minimum amount that you want to still achieve on your bad days because then it still gives you something achievable to work towards without you feeling like you've just taken five steps back. Number two, ladies, is to check yourself before you wreck yourself, okay? If you have been doing the same things and you're not seeing any results on your weight gain journey, then you need to change something that you're doing or the results won't change. You will just keep on not seeing results, which is not what we want. So if you've been trying to do things and they're not working, you're not seeing any change in your appetite, you're not seeing your body change, you're not feeling different, then you need to obviously change something that you are doing. And this is why you guys need to become very self-aware on your weight gain journey. As we always say, weight gain isn't just about eating more, it is a whole lifestyle change. So you need to become more self-aware as a person so you can really be honest with yourself about what you are and are not doing on your weight gain journey. If you're someone, for example, that feels hungry but never has food ready or always forgets to cook food and you haven't tried to meal prep yet, then you're being your own worst enemy. If you're someone that struggles with your appetite but you're doing literally nothing about it, then again, you're being your own worst enemy. So check yourself and see what am I really doing that is helping me on my weight gain journey? And what am I currently doing? Is that working? Is it not working? time to change some things. Number three is to stop thinking that you need to have the same journey as somebody else. Make your own routine. And this is something that is so, so, so key on your weight gain journey because a lot of us feel like we need to do things a certain way for it to work but babes it's your journey especially because you are on a weight gain journey things are going to be different compared to your normal person you're going to be eating more meals you're going to be lifting heavier weights you're going to be drinking more smoothies so that means that you need to make your own routine if you want to have two breakfasts in the morning babes have two breakfasts if you know someone that has had an amazing weight gain transformation and they tell you that they trained every day after work it doesn't mean 
mean you need to train after work if you see that somebody meal preps every single meal for the whole week that doesn't mean you too need to meal prep every single meal see what actually works for you and adapt your routine as things change in your life when i used to work in the gym i used to meal prep two meals a day for the week which i would have to do probably two times a week just because it was so much food but now because I work at home, I just meal prep my lunch by making an extra portion of dinner the day before, have that for lunch, and then I make my dinner. And the rest of my meals slash snacks are really manageable for me to make still throughout the rest of the day. So find what truly works for you and aligns with you. If you're trying to do something that just doesn't fit into your life, into your schedule, you're going to find it very difficult to actually make it a thing. So find things that slot into your life with ease. And a really great way to do this is by habit stacking. So stack a habit with another habit that you do already let's say for example you want to start incorporating smoothies into your day a little bit more but you maybe want to take them to work because you don't get that many breaks so you want to make sure that you have a smoothie throughout the day so you can still bulk up on your calories stack that habit with when you have breakfast in the morning so having breakfast is something that you should be doing already so now you're just going to put those two habits together when you make your breakfast make sure that you make your smoothie after as well and when you start to couple up habits with things that you already do it becomes a lot easier for you to sustain so ladies just to recap a few tips on how to adapt the weight wanters mindset make sure that you are looking at the bigger picture and set your benchmark make sure that you are checking yourself before you start wrecking yourself and create your own routine that works for you I hope you ladies have found this video useful. Comment below any videos that you would like us to do in the future. And as always, happy gaming!